Hi, Jonathan. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Uh, you're the CTO yeah. of Microbit Foundation. Yeah. So what does a CTO at Microbit do if we start there? Right, so I'm, I'm responsible for looking after our roadmap for, for the Microbit product, but also the online experience, that kind of magical everything just works end to end is absolutely key to Microbit. And that means pulling lots of different bits of the puzzle together and making sure they, they keep working. And as we develop them, we develop them in, in sync. So we have a lot of partners in Microbit. You know, Microbit is a success not because of one group, but because of all the different people involved. Yeah. And so a, a lot of my job is wrangling all those different groups and saying, oh, we're thinking of doing this. You know, can you do this bit and what about that? So pulling things together. Yeah. And specifically on the technical side. Right. And here we're at BET. Yeah. And we're at the Microbit booth at BET in the Steam Village. Sure. And you've set up a bunch of demos. Yeah, we've got we've got a, a range of different demos. We've got four pods all together with, with yeah. demos, but this is our kind of this is our makery. Actually, most of these demos were provided, or some of these demos were provided by kids. Yeah. Uh, some of them are by interns at, at Arm. This one built by David and I at the Microbit Foundation. And I, I can talk you through what they do if you like. Yeah, know. absolutely. So what is this thing? So. So we call this a tone matrix, and it's an example of how a whole class of kids could be turned into a musical instrument. Okay. So each micro bit here, we've, we've got, if you, if you imagine you've got eight beats in a bar, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight yeah. columns, and five notes. Ah, okay, so, so it circles around. It circles around, and actually you can see the light bouncing moving around, the, the dot bouncing around and around and around, and we, you know, we like this, it's kind of cyc the cyclic nature of music. So each kid has one micro Each kid might have one micro bit. We've got, a, we've got a pentatonic scale, so no matter which combination you put them in, they're gonna sound good together. So if I turn on, uh, if I turn on a micro bit here, one, two, oh, is that going to work? There we go, three. Ah, uh, and then we get a, a loop you can, going. You should be able to hear. So you can hear those three notes going up, but we can also play chords, so... Obviously, yeah, yeah. because there's five uh, in each... In, e in each column, so, yeah. so you can hear the chord. And so we might start by, by having, as we have at the moment, where if you can take a micro bit and you shake it, yeah. that can activate it or deactivate that micro bit's note. Um, but so the kid could hold it in their hand, shake it, and you would hear it, and it... Sure, but then yeah. we might turn that into a programming exercise oh. where we let each kid decide for themselves yeah. how they want to activate their micro bit. So yeah. maybe it is that your micro bit will play when you're running. If, you, yeah. you know, if you're still moving, yeah, your yeah. micro bit's playing. And if, if you're, you're not, still... It's stopped. Oh, maybe, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe you have to stand completely still. Um, and, and if you don't stand completely still, then you make, you make noise. Oh, so you so, could, like, make dancing games Exactly, right. So you, and, and, and you can actually... You know, we had a group uh, at a co-club in a primary school in the UK. They did a distributed temperature network. So they put the microbits all around their classroom and their school. Yeah. And they were sending all of the, uh, the, mic the kind of temperature data. You could use, you could use it to, to, to kind of make the sound of the room. It's hot over there, so you get lots of high notes. And it's you know, cold over there, so you don't, you don't have the notes. But really, it's a way of showing the, the microbit radio. So these, these microbits are able to talk to each other wirelessly. So actually, in this demo, we've got 40 microbits a 41st, which is connected to a Raspberry Pi, that which, sort is, of syncs. which is actually playing the music. So the music's being played by a Raspberry Pi. So it, it's also good to show you know, the microbit talking to a, a number of other bits of technology. So that, that, that's the tone matrix, uh, which will continue chiming away And what are these there. things? So we've got, we've got two sets of here, here. We ran a, a competition at Christmas for the best microbit project. And this was made by a seven-year-old called Seb. This thing. This, this thing, yeah. this Duplo thing. So this is Santa's sleigh. And I see, yeah, with a right, guy. So we've, we've got, and we've got a bunch of presents in the back here. Yeah. Ready to go and a micro bit on top. And Seb didn't want Santa to have to whip the reindeer. He Obviously. wanted a different incentive. So here we've got a reindeer at the front. And I'll be Santa's hands. So if, if we imagine Santa holds his reins, yeah. then the, the light turns on. Yeah. And uh, harder to hear this one against the other things, but we, we get jingle bells playing oh. as well. So when Santa's holding his so reins... So we have a seven-year-old. A seven-year-old who's built... And, and you can see he's put foil around the back of, yeah. of Santa because he knows that humans are conductive, yeah. but a plastic figure is not. Um, and, they, and they've written the program in yeah. PXT. Uh, and to, PXT is the block... The, the block-based yeah. drag-and-drop editor to, to make this happen. So that the program is a, you know, it's half a page on the screen. Yeah. It, it says if, if P2 is, t is touched, uh, or then, then play the song and turn the LED on and then finish. Yeah. So a really nice example of, of a young child doing something really creative and, and achieving a really nice 
you know, example Absolutely. and project. And we, we really love this kind of taking the micro bit and breaking it out with foil and other, and other you know, bits of stuff that people Things. have around the house because yeah. it, kids, you know, a lot of kids have experienced smartphones, they've got computers, but the idea of bridging technology yeah. to the real world and things yeah. they care about and fantastic to, to let them do that. So this was a, based around that idea that this was, could you build a, a game a little bit like Guitar Hero? Yeah. Where you've got to play the music in time, but with micro bits. So inside these cups, we have two cups, and in each side, each one, there's a there's a light dependent resistor. Yeah. So depending on the light levels in the here. Light, so it, it can tell when you've covered over the cups. I hear that. You can hear it. You can hear <laughs> it. So we've got drums, which is from the cups. We've got Right, and actually, if you on the screen of the micro bit, you can uh, actually it, see it says, "Oh dear, we lost." Oh no, <laughs> oh you lost. yeah, because it's a game. We, we didn't play in time. So actually, ah. you know, if I if I push this down now, it doesn't make a sound. Yeah. If I push this down, but uh, with the piano, if you play it at the right time, so I'm going to try and uh, try and get this right now. It's getting a five, six, seven, eight. It actually is a dance dance revolution yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of thing yeah so you've got to get it in time yeah oh ah way out and here it's a micro bit and a breakout yeah. board a micro bit and a breakout board it's a z bit speaker board it's very easy to connect and has, yeah. a, has a speaker on it and actually these are just helping me connect everything into the micro bit yeah and we've got one more in this set these are all these are so this was written in pxt these ones are written in python yeah and these are communicating over the radio and the guitar um if you hold it absolutely still it doesn't make any noise, so five, six, seven, eight. It's silent, but if I shake it in time, then it plays the song. And if you play, if you've got three people playing all of these together, oh, they need to sync up. They sync up and they make a tune. Yeah. Um, allegedly, it's Sam Smith, but uh, <laughs> it's difficult to know when you when you hear it separately. So. Oh, well, that's fantastic. And, and, and you know, for for kids, the idea that it's something they can play with, something really really tactile yeah, is important. Yeah, because one of those things that you can really see here is the physicality of the right. of the coding. You sort of dive into coding, but very much yeah. of it is the, sort of the representation of it. Absolutely. I mean, the coding is the thing that you need to do to achieve the, the output, the real world output you want. It's not that you're doing coding in order to learn coding. It's that you're doing coding to solve a problem. Yeah. And that transforms it from being a chore to being something that you're kind of excited and engaged by. Most coders yeah. can nearly remember the time when they realized that Using code, you can change the world. Yeah, yeah. And I guess you have that sort yeah, of feeling I, in a sense as well. Absolutely. So I'm trying to remember the first time I actually learnt very first programming was done on a BBC Basic, or in BBC Basic on a BBC Micro. Yeah. So that the 30 year ago project that preceded this, it was a bit old by the time I got playing on it. But it, we were, you know, we were coding games and they were screen based. I think the time I first connected anything to the real world was much later with Embed. Yeah. And that, that was when it, it got really exciting. Because I, one thing that we've found when we've worked with the microbit with kids yeah. is this situation where you actually see they get this sense of realization that I can change the world. Yeah. And the physicality really plays a large role in that. Uh, in totally. A sense. I, I, th I think the, the, the other thing that I think really helps is the simplicity. You know, we're yeah. surrounded by technology that is enormously complex and in some ways threatening, but also in some ways just very opaque. Yeah. So there's something really charming about the simplicity of the micro bit. Yeah. The way, you know, you can look at it and you can reason about what's happening on the display. Yeah. You know, it, and and, we and had, you can actually see the code. You can see it. You can yeah. see the code. You can see the pixels. Yeah. You know, when you when you look at a modern display, you might know there yeah. are pixels there, but it's very hard for your brain to really engage with. Yeah. The dots. Yeah. And we, we had a kid in a class recently who said, "Oh, so this is like." ultra ultra low definition so making that link <laughs> yeah, between true. the you know the sales of the tv and what they had in front of them was was really important thank you so much okay. Jonathan, for no the time trouble. there's one more i'd like to show you oh yeah please it, it's absolutely. interesting it, this is this is you asked about you know the real world yeah. me this is something that is from my house that i bought along because i wanted to show that the micro bit is not it's a valid device you know these these are things done by young kids this is what I did for myself in my house with micro bit. So this is a, an LED light, and a, it's a color changing bulb. It's off the shelf, unmodified, but the orientation of the remote control, just the orientation changes the color of the light. And it, it's, it's super simple, but, but the combination of you know, real world products yeah. um, and something that actually you know, lives in my home, I think demonstrates that 
though the kids, you know, we've got these simple programming experiences, there's a whole world of growth. Yeah, and, because and you can start with a block program and go on yeah. to JavaScript and Python, Python and you can and actually so change this, the world. Right, this was written in C++, so you can move on and, yeah. and, and do it in advance. So, so we kind of feel like, for some kids, they'll go, good, I understand computers, I, I, I did some programming, that's enough for me, you know, I made it, I made some interesting things. Other kids will get the bug, and the micro bit is enough for them to just keep going and keep going and they can program an assembler on the micro if they want to. So we've got this really broad reach, but yeah. then a lot of a lot of growth as well. Thank you so much. No trouble. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Good. Looking forward to seeing it around the world. Absolutely. Thank Thanks you. Thanks very much.